the definition of a disciple for the Jewish people was this, one who followed the master and never lost one word of what he said. This is how we know we have the gospels true in, to what their words are, because that was the way they had to memorize and keep in mind everything the master said. And they, it's compared to a cistern, which is used to gather rainwater when it rains so that in the dry period, there's water for people, especially in the Middle East. And a good cistern never loses a drop. And so that's the comparison that's made. They're important and certainly to us to understand the image because then we understand what the prophet Jeremiah was saying in the first reading. The people of Israel have built for them broken cisterns and they hold no water. He's telling them they're not listening to God's word. They're not putting it into practice. That means they've abandoned God and forsaken his commandments and never hold on to his words. In the gospel today, we hear the disciples going to Jesus and he asks them why he speaks, they ask him why he speaks in parables. And he tells them, because it's not given to them to understand everything, but rather to you who are the disciples, you must understand every word, commit it to memory, and then preach it to the people eventually. Yes, Jesus was a great storyteller. Some of the parables were clear, and others had a meaning that had to be explained. However, when he explained the meaning of the, the parables, the disciples understood the deeper meaning of what he was trying to say. We're asked to hold on to every word of God that we hear, especially in the liturgy. Sometimes it's hard to concentrate on the readings. We don't know what they're about. And so sometimes it's better if we can prepare ourselves before we come to Mass with the Missalette, looking at what are the readings today? What is the word of God going to tell me so that we can have it enter into our hearts? We listen attentively to the scriptures and we hear them proclaimed in the liturgy, but when we pray is when Jesus opens up the mysteries of the kingdom of God to us. So without prayer, we cannot understand the scriptures. We ask the Lord today as we turn to the altar to give us that great gift of understanding his word and especially then putting it into practice.